just checked the refrigerator and the supplies are a little weak. So I have a jalapeno that is uh, starting to shrivel. And I have three tomatillos that were left over from salsa that I did uh, a few days ago. It's time to put these to good use. It's going to be a small batch, but it's going to be a batch of the salsa verde, tomatillo sauce, green sauce, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it my save what's left in the refrigerator before it goes bad sauce. We're going to roast them. Yes, we're going to roast. <laughs> of our cloves of garlic that is not a good sign that is not a good sign at all that one's got a little something going on there at the end too should we rethink this we could do a roasted tomato tomatillo sauce a combination of the two kind of a red sauce green sauce hybrid mix what do you think? No? Yeah? Yes? No? 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 Yes? 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 No? No? <sighs> yes. So we shaved off the imperfections. We got one really pretty one. Uh, kind of a sad jalapeno. Bless its little heart. And three cloves of garlic. So let's toast this in the toaster oven for about maybe 25-30 minutes. See if we can't get them nice and soft and uh, roasty. And then we're going to try a new recipe. We're going to try, yeah, we're going to try fire roasted tomatoes. The reason I'm a little excited about, oh, we'll hold that. I'll, 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 let, I'll let that wait until I'm ready to share. And a lot of people leave the stems in when they put it in the salsa. I did that the last time we showed you, but um, I didn't like the results. Mm -mm. We're going to cheat just a little bit. Yes, yes, we're going to cheat. Our fire roasted tomatoes in a can. There's a fire ban going on. So we'll have the fire roasted tomatoes. And let's go ahead and bring this lid blender up. Now there is something that I am going to do that is going to be fantastic. I've seen all of this before, but just as a refresher, we're going to fry a few corn tortillas. One has a special mission. The other has a special meat. Ooh, I need a tongue. Fry it nice and crisp. So I was just trying to find something else to do while in the kitchen. And finding the vegetables in the refrigerator that looked like they were on their last leg kind of stimulated the uh, salsa idea. I need this one extra toasty, extra crispy. You'll find out why. Not firm, but extra crispy. Garlic literally burst right out of its shell. There's a piece of it over there that over roasted, and there's a piece of it there that over roasted. Well, I wasn't paying attention because the garlic takes a very short amount of time to roast. This is what one looks like as it's trying to burst out of its shell. Isn't that the strangest thing? Well, a lesson learned. My roasted garlic is not going to be in this sauce. There's a nice roasted tomatillo. Another roasted tomatillo. This is a really mushy one. 
that onion that didn't get roasted, but eh, it's roasted well enough. I think we should take the seeds out of the jalapeno. So that'll just take us a moment to do that. And there we have our roasted jalapeno. We're going to add our pepper. Again, it's only half a teaspoon. Our salt, which is probably too much, so I didn't put all of that in. And our cumin, which is a very small amount of cumin. Our fire roasted tomatoes with garlic. So, hey, that takes care of the garlic. Okay. This is our hybrid salsa. Tomatillo and fire roasted tomatoes. What could go wrong? A lot if I don't add the final ingredient. I've got to add the final ingredient. Extra crispy tortilla. Let's just put the whole thing in there. Boy, that blender devoured that tortilla just as fast as I can devour one. Wow. The final taste test. Mm. Wow. It's a salsa verde, basically a green tomatillo sauce, chock full of fire roasted red tomatoes. And it's pretty damn good. Wow. Write this recipe down. Write this recipe down. I never write recipes down. I always forget them. Mmm. Bye. Mm -hmm.